Welcome back to Cavuto Coast to Coast. One of the big questions going forward is how deep into the new year are Republicans willing to push uh, for the border wall as there is a partial government shutdown now, 25 percent of the federal government on day seven. The North Carolina Republican Congressman Mark Walker, who's also the incoming GOP conference vice chair. Thanks for joining us, Congressman. Thanks, Blake. I remember uh, hearing you talk about this last week before there was a shutdown saying that um, the president shouldn't sign anything unless he gets money for his border wall. As you put it, it's a hill worth dying on. You still feel that way now that we're entering about to enter week two? I'm no less convinced this is a huge part of what we need to do, fulfilling the promise that we've made to the American people. You know, this was something that uh, didn't used to be a partisan issue. In fact, just four years ago, uh, all 54 Democratic senators voted for $46 billion that included 700 miles of either some kind of structure, fencing, or wall. I hate that it's being used now as a political issue. I, I wonder how many, there's 800,000 uh, 800,000 federal employees that this will affect. Um, any in your district, your home state, and does that weigh on your mind? Uh, anytime uh, there's something that would put any person, specifically a federal employee, being a representative of those employees, yes, it does. But the reason that, that it's very important to draw the line is because of, of not just the human component, but also the economic. We spend $19 billion a year through interior enforcement. What, what the, the negotiating part of this process, what we submitted to Chuck Schumer this past Saturday was a compromise, $2.5 billion with $2.1 billion going for some kind of border structure. Uh, we haven't heard an official word back to us yet, but it seems like they're continuing to deny that. Now, if you put that into an overall budget context, $40 billion is 1% of our federal budget. $2.5 billion is 1% one-tenth of one percent. Uh, we need to do this, whether it's the economic portion of this or whether it's the human suffering as well. Congressman, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like this is how this is going to go over the next week or so. Uh, Cong the new Congress mm -hmm. is going to be sworn in January 3rd. That means a democratically controlled House of Representatives. Nancy Pelosi and the Dems uh, in the House are going to pass some sort of spending bill uh, that will turn mm -hmm. the government lights back open with no border wall money. And then that will put the onus on the Republican-controlled Senate to to potentially pass that, oh, by the way, just a couple weeks ago, they passed a bill that would do essentially just that. So when does this stalemate end? Well, there's two schools of thoughts. You're exactly right, Blake. Do, is there enough Senate votes to be able to push through what Nancy Pelosi uh, wants to do when it comes to this spending bill? I don't think so. Even if it did, the president, we believe, would veto it, but I believe it's but blocked didn't, didn't, by the I mean, Senate. The, Senate, the Senate did pass something similar to it, though, uh, last week, 10 days ago, give or take. Yeah, but the winds of Washington change constantly. That's one of the things I've learned in my four years in D.C. I believe the Senate pushes back, forcing the Democrats to come to the table to fulfill promises they have already made to the American people. I think there's been a little bit of a, of a, of a shift here, at least strategy among Republicans. I want to play uh, something that Mick Mulvaney said earlier this morning from the White House. Watch here. I'll get your reaction on the other side. The Democrats have simply shut down the discussions. They did not even counter us. They left town, and I think the reason they did is because Nancy Pelosi, uh, in fairness, does not have the votes for the speakership yet. She cannot be seen by her party as being weak on, on uh, negotiating with Donald Trump. So we fully expect that until she is elected speaker and has locked that vote up, uh, we don't expect to hear from the Democrats again. They told us last night that they were not countering our last, our, our last offer. It it seems, Congressman, like Republicans are trying to put the onus here on Nancy Pelosi, but wasn't it President Trump just uh, two weeks ago sitting next to Nancy Pelosi who said, if I don't get money for the wall, I will take the mantle on this shutdown? Oh, I believe it's very important to lay out strong positions on this, but since that time, we went back to the table. We did our work. We got it through the House, which now depends on whether Chuck Schumer wants to do this. Mick Mulvaney is correct. Nancy wants no part of this. She has to keep the furthest left progressive wing of her base in line for her to win back Speaker of the House. If she makes any move before that, it would put that in jeopardy, which is a huge problem for many of us because you're playing politics with people's life. I think of Officer Singh, a legal immigrant working for the Newburn Police Department who was killed on Christmas Day, leaving a young wife and a, a five-month-old son. 
killed by an illegal immigrant. The, the, we can't be playing politics here. And it's not just illegals. We're talking about drugs. Enough fentanyl last year alone was seized by border and ICE agents to kill every human being in North America. Uh, it, the, the human trafficking, the illegal drug use, this is something that should have been acted a long time ago when Republicans and Democrats both agreed on it. Unfortunately, it's become a political football now. Congressman, last question to you. Today, December 28th, federal employees get their paychecks. That includes the 800,000 who the shutdown now impacts. The next paycheck for them comes January 11th. Is that, um, is that really the, the potential inflection point here, that if government workers start missing paychecks on January 11th, then this could really get serious one way or another? I think it's a huge factor in all of this, but I cannot sit there and tell you that it's the only factor. Securing the border, protecting the American people, honoring the very first oath that Nancy Pelosi and I will take next week. Congressman Mark Walker, appreciate your time on this Friday. I hope you have a, uh, a nice weekend, a happy new year. We